Hey everyone, Nomad Master here. Next on the list at number 28 is Taffington Boathouse. Taffington Boathouse has an area rank of 27 and a height limit of 8 floors. So you're going to have to clear out all the blood bugs upon discovering Taffington Boathouse. The plus is you don't have to complete any quests to unlock the workbench. You just have to kill the blood bugs. I'm going to skip past this part for us so that we can take a look at the settlement. Keep in mind guys, there are quite a few blood bugs upon discovering the settlement, so if you're a lower level player, you should be prepared before you come here. Alright, now that we have access to the workbench, we can see how big the settlement really is. What's nice about Taffington Boathouse is you have a lot of water access, and then you also have quite a bit of room, which is all fairly flat. So if you follow the road up here, you can see you can also build out here onto the water. So... If you've never done something like that, Taffington Boathouse is a great settlement to test that out for the first time. And then if we go over here, there's not a lot of room. You can scrap those fences right there if you want. That's what I usually do so I can fit some more structures. But there's only just a couple feet next to that boathouse. And then keep in mind, guys, I already cleared this, but the boathouse has a lot of different traps. And then there's like lasers and weapons. You're going to want to grab those and disable them before you come in here. You can scrap that big boat up there too if you want to build over that area and try to make it into a room. I like the water access. I think it's pretty cool. Scrap these two for anyone that wants more direct access to the water because then you have this big opening here. Again, you can try to utilize that space. And then let's go inside. The first floor is in pretty good shape. It's the second floor that's not doing well. It's got a giant hole in the roof. There are three beds that come with the settlement and a cooking station, which is right there. So let's go upstairs. And there's the second bed. There's that giant hole in the roof. You can try to repair it. I usually just leave it. And there's the third bed. Thankfully, all the beds are underneath roofs, so you're not going to get wet when it rains. There's a bathroom up here. You guys can try to... Uh, Utilize this space, but what I don't like is this body. It always reappears there, and there's nothing you can really do about it. You can try to throw her out the window or put her inside of something, but she'll just reappear in the same exact spot, unfortunately. So let's go check out some other parts of the settlement. Another thing to note up here is there is a safe and a couple little things there you can scrap. Uh, this settlement does come with quite a few things you can scrap. You'll get a lot of wood and steel, mostly wood. Um, what's cool is you can re-establish this as a kitchen if you like. That's what I try to do. It actually feels cool to try to make it seem like it's functioning again. Another thing to note, guys, is that this settlement does come with a gourd patch. So lower level players can utilize that early on in your game. One thing to keep in mind is that if you start exploring this settlement, there is a stone waterway to the left. And that usually has blood bugs that spawn in there. Outside of that, not too much else is dangerous in the area. One thing to note, guys, is that Covenant's right over this hill by that tree. So for those playing on survival, you can use Covenant or Taffington Boathouse as a crutch to build up the other one. That pretty much concludes my video for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.